TV and welcome back to my NBA 2K18 my GM with the OKC Thunder this is episode 39 so if you guys aren't caught up look for the playlist on my channel and if you're new subscribe and um, click that notification bell to get the latest video updates from my channel and if you like what you see by the end of this video smash the thumbs up it tells me that you want to see more videos just like this my goal is to have at least two to four likes for this video um keeping myself modest here and uh leave any comments below remember you guys are my co-gms for the okc thunder and here we are for this march 12th game there's a little bit uh probably about a month and a week uh to the end of the season and a uh, unfortunately i know i made a video about this already but i got russell westbrook uh, for the season and I do have um, Paul George out for another week or two uh, so I'm gonna have to make do without them this game so I'm gonna have to be really careful I gotta be really meticulous in how I play um, but this should be very interesting because the Nets are the leading team in the East um, and we are the leading team in the West they're up by two games over the Cavs as I said last video and we are a game and a half above the Warriors um, so the starting lineups is going to be very interesting. Um, I'll let you guys know what I'm running with. It's uh, Jordan Clarkson, Brogdon, Jeremy Grant, Patrick Patterson, and Steven Adams. Um, and the bench, I'm just going to try to wing it, man. It's going to be interesting. And um, let's get this game started. I'll see you guys in OKC. Be careful of falling in love with that three. Right, exactly, Greg. When the shots from the perimeter are not... The pass to Steven Adams for the slam. Dwight Howard falling asleep on that pick, and Steven Adams able to capitalize on a two-handed flush. Oh, and that's an and one, putting Dwight Howard on the post, so he can't believe it. He's like, I didn't foul him, man. What a slam by Jordan Clarkson to start the game for the Thunder. Look at that poster. Good pass. Good finish by Tyreek Evans. Good pass to Zubac for the slam. Tyreek Evans sucking three people in. Give it to Zubac with a little shovel pass. Ooh, what a block. Zubac for the second block of the game. Fast break opportunity. That is a lay by McCall. Good defense turns into better O. Two three for Brogdon. Got it. That is a deep three with Jeremy Lin draped all over him. Steal. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, and look at that. I guess that's a reverse alley-oop to... I, I don't even know who that is. <laughs> Theus, there you go, coming from the bench. Foul, and one! That's a foul on Dwight Howard, and that is Theus with another bucket. Showing his value coming from the bench. What a block by... Sanders, let's go push. Out to the wing. Uh, Grant the pass to kill Pat. Patrick for three. Got it. It was a little broken play, but we able to go come away with a three. Now we're up by seven. Nearing the end of the second quarter, I believe this is the largest lead of the game. That's a good defense to start the third quarter. Arden drives it to Levert. Foul. And one! That is the uh, and one conversion by Malcolm Brogdon as he took it to Levert with no fear. Good defense by Evans. They're gonna push. They're gonna push. They're gonna push the tempo here. The Jeremy Grant for the slam. JK, we're gonna shoot the buzzer beater. Uh, but we ended up winning by 20 points. 
over the Eastern Conference leaders, Brooklyn Nets. They did beat us in one of the videos before, so this is great payback. Winning by 20 points with that Russell Westbrook all Paul, or Paul George. Great win in OKC. It was a great team effort. I did not expect to win by this much. But look at this output here by the entire team. Jordan Clarkson with 19 points. Shooting 8 of 14 from the field. Jeremy Grant with a big game as well. 18 points. John Cole Patrick showing up. 13, 5, and 4. Uh, Brogdon with 12 points. 4 assists. Steal and a block. Steven Adams, of course, with a double-double, 12 and 13 with two blocks. And then Larry Sanders with a 9-7 game. But look at this. Almost everybody except except DJ Wilson scored. But he did also have an assist and a, uh, two assists, a block, and a rebound. So everybody really contributed. Um, I'll have to see about more of this Daniel Theus guy. He had that windmill dunk last, last game. Then... Um, and he put up he put up some pretty good uh, highlights there. And uh, let's take a look at his rating. He's actually not that good, but uh, we'll try to mold into something that's gonna be very helpful for the team. He looks like a, a power guy on the inside. Uh, so we'll see what we can do with him. But here is the um, team comparisons here. We end up winning uh, almost everything except for three pointers. They only hit uh, two more uh, three pointers. And that's really it. We had. The biggest lead was 25, theirs was just one. We were just in control most of the game, it was just very close the entire game until probably the second half where we kind of blew things open. Um, but that's a really good win for the Nets. Um, we have about a week or two left for Paul George to come back, so hopefully uh, for the next video he will be back. Um, and he will probably take... Ooh, do I take durability or signing? Let's do reduced injuries, only because I don't want the same thing to happen again, um, you know, against any other team. Um, but we're going to try to figure out which team we should play against next. I mean, I've played against the Cavaliers, I believe, um, in one of my games, maybe. Oh, yes, I have. Uh, we played this game against the Suns. We lost that game big by 18. Uh, let's just keep simulating here. Something to date. And let's see, let's see. Who should I play next? I did a video against the Bucks. I did a video against the Cavs. Maybe the Lakers for this March 24th game. I think that's what I'll do next. Um, they aren't, I, don't, I guess they're not too bad. Um, I'm not even sure if I did a video against them recently, but um, let me simulate up to the Cavs here. I ended up winning that game by 12. And then. B.O. losing to the uh, Bucks. And yes, finally Paul George is back. And uh, let's move people around again. Okay, Jeremy Grant, and then we're gonna move DJ Wilson. Sorry, buddy. Back over there. Paul George is gonna get his minutes back. Um, some from Sanders, some from Zubac. Oh wait, let's do that. Let's leave it on there. Take my call out. Um, she's about to getting a lot of minutes. Tyreek Evans, we're gonna reduce. We're just gonna figure this out here. You're gonna get at least 37 minutes a game. I'm gonna give Theus an extra two minutes. McCall, fine, I'll give you two minutes. So the seven minutes left my bench and everything so I really have to figure out who to play when to play um, Jeremy Grant actually I think give him his props he's been playing pretty well um, so let's give him 11 minutes um, there you go and all right so now who else got injured okay I didn't even know he had injuries okay Okay, did we lose that game against the Cavs? There's possibility, and we won by 20. All right. Uh, so we are second in the conference now, apparently, after some simulation here. I'm guessing the Warriors got a little hot, and we're actually tied, but they are winning the season season series. So they are first in the West. Um, but we're going to try to change our fortune here, especially with Paul George back. And uh, we're going to be facing the Lakers. Um, 
check out the team right now who they have. Uh, bup, bup, bup. No, JK. Let's see, let's see. Like, who do the Lakers have? Oh, wait, that's our team. They got uh, Lonzo Ball, Ben Ingram, Larry Nance Jr. Okay, so this is basically the same team from before. And, uh, we should be able to take them out. This is going to be a game in LA. I can't really skip that. Or I don't want to skip that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of My GM with OKC Thunder. Again, click the thumbs up button if you like what you see. Leave any comments below. Hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.